this is the plaintiff, Antonio DeRico. He says he was president of his club when they hired him to renovate the kitchen. And when the defendant, the new president, took over, he decided to rip him off for 360 bucks he still owed. The guy's trying to be a big shot. You know the type. Big man on campus. Real show off. He came to America, struggled to make it, worked for 55 years for his money, and no one, he repeats, no one is going to steal $360 from him. So he's suing. This is the defendant, Anthony Ferrari. He says the plaintiff loaned the club $30,000 at 5.2% interest, which is downright illegal. The plaintiff's a bully who thinks he can get away with whatever he wants. But he's the new president. There's a new sheriff in town. And he's not about to let the plaintiff profit illegally by going around and doing as he pleases. He's accused of shortchanging a club member. The defendant has filed a countersuit for $1,202 in overpaid interest. All parties, please raise your right hand. Be seated. Come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, Okay, in. Antonio DeRico, you are suing Orsogna Mutual Aid Society for $360, the balance of owed to you, according to you, from a loan made to the organization. You are counterclaiming against him $1,202, Mr. Ferrari, you're the president, right? Yes, yes, you're um, right. Because according to you, you shouldn't have had to pay interest on that loan at all. Okay, Mr. DeRico, let's start with you. Well, actually, let me just ask you, because you're the president now, what is Orsogna Mutual Aid Society? Orsogna Mutual Aid Society was established by uh, seven members in 1939. And uh, it's to... Uh, have the people together from our town, and uh, we used to give to charities, and, uh, and there's, if there's 50 members left in, in the club, the club goes to charity, under 50. The club goes to a charity, okay? And, uh, and if there's over 50, what? 50, well, the club still functions if we can, but these last few years, it hasn't been functioned right. Okay, but what was the purpose of the club? Purpose of the club is to, uh, it's a social it's a club. club. Social club. A social club that. Uh, okay, and it's in what town? Orsogna. It's a town in Abruzzi, Italy. No, but where's your club? In, it's not in oh, Italy. Oh, I'm sorry. In Queens. Oh, I thought you said <laughs> Not I'm quite as glamorous, but it's in it's Queens. Queens. It's in Queens. Oh, but Orsogna is a town in Italy. Okay, right. so Orsogna is a town. Do you have to be Italian to join the club? Yes. Or Italian descent? The, well, you could be a wife, a spouse of. What if you just like Italians? You can't. No. You, can, you can come in. You're All right. right. So you, you used in. to be the president. Ten years. For ten years, and you are the president now. For how yes. long? Yes, uh, I'm on second year. Okay. So tell me what happened. Well, what happened uh, ten years ago? I was for ten years. But oh wait, is I it only men? Men and women. We men had 131 women. men, 85 women. Okay. Go ahead. So yeah. when I took over, two or three. I found the, the, the club in shambles. So there was no money in a, in a bank. So I paid my own $7,000 to clean up the mess. Plus there was a, a lawsuit of $3 million of uh, lead paint. A girl swallowed it because the club failed to maintain the property in the living condition. But I don't understand, how are people living in your club? Shit. Two houses. The club is one part of it. Then we got two houses. That you own and the you rent owns. out to people to live in? Right. Okay. Okay, but once you were president and you had been there for a while, you decided to renovate and to, right. and to ma I guess, maintain and or renovate, right. but uh -huh. mostly renovate. Right. Um, and what were you renovating? But all the houses, all the, the apartments. I How mean, many apartments are in your club? Hey. Seven in the basement. And then you rent them out? Yes. Okay. So now, so you did a renovation, and how much did the renovation cost? A lot of money. How much? Maybe with the new kitchen and everything, I would say over $200,000. Okay. And when you say with the new kitchen, what had a new kitchen? All of the apartments? No. We used to cook in the basement. 
when I took over. That was the only kitchen we could use it. Because we get together with the people, you know, the members, and we cook. So you're talking about the clubhouse kitchen when you say you, right. so you built a kitchen. Right. Okay. When you were doing that, what, what money did you use to do that? I had to go to the bank to get the money. Okay. There was a 8%, I think, the percentage. After five years, we refinanced it. You refinanced it? Refinanced it. Okay. Right. After we finished the kitchen, there was an additional, the, the building department came, they gave us some more violation. Because a rainy day, all the water used to rush in the street. So there were additional violations. Right. They want us to build a water tank to okay. collect so all the water. So for whatever reason, then, so I guess because of the violation, whatever it is, you were 30,000 30, short. The organization was 30,000 short. Right. So how did you make up the deficit? I went to the bank, yeah. asked for money. They, they told me it's going to cost you 12 to 13 percent. This is in what year? Uh, 209, I think. Okay. 209 to 10, something like that. Okay. So I, I went back to the staff. I said, you know, it's a lot of money, 13 percent. So we decided maybe we put so much each. Well, then I decided maybe I put the money. Doesn't matter. And then I take so much uh, every month. So you ended so, up loaning personally. $30,000. $30,000. At 4%. At 4% to the club. Right. And then the club was paying you monthly. Right. Okay. Then how much time later do you either resign or get outvoted as president? Two years. About two years. All right. And what happened? Did you resign or were you outvoted? No, I was outvoted. Okay. You were outvoted by him. Right. And then once he becomes president, what does he do to you, which is why you're here? The first thing, you, you took a $360 out of me. You sent me a letter, stated that I don't, sh I shouldn't get $1,052 a month. I should get $1,040 a month. Okay. But I told him that the Did he bank, tell you why? Huh? Did he tell you why? He said about 4%. The way they calculate it is to, uh, $1,200, 1200 whatever, $2. I says, but the bank calculated it in different ways, okay. 4%. Show me the calculations of the bank and, you know, how you arrive at your 4%. What's going on, uh, Mr. Ferrari? First of all, Your Honor, according to our bylaws, he's supposed to bring it to the assembly. The assembly votes on... If he's allowed to, if he's allowed to. To what? Give this loan. Okay. He also, before that, prior to that, he went to the bank and got a $170,000 mortgage on top of the $250,000 that he had from that lawsuit. Okay. Now, now we have four hundred fifty. When you say from more. that lawsuit, you mean the lawsuit had, that stop he was and listen. talking Wait, about? Wait, no, listen to my question. I'm in the middle. Yes, of, when you say from that lawsuit, you mean the money that had to be borrowed because you because the associate because your club had to settle a lawsuit on lead poisoning. No, no, that was that was all done with. That was done. So, what do you mean so the two hundred and fifty from the lawsuit? What is that? We had mean? a mortgage of two hundred fifty thousand dollars. He goes out and gets... Right, it was done because you had to take a mortgage out because it was a lawsuit right. against you guys. that's okay. fine. We have okay. that mortgage now. Okay. Now, he went out and got $170,000 more to build a kitchen. Put your hand down, please. Yeah. To build a kitchen without the approval of the assembly. Were you part of the club then? I've been a member since 1958, Your okay. Honor. And um, when Not I presume that people were discussing the renovation, because it doesn't happen, it happens right in front of everybody's nose. Was anybody objecting to the renovation? Everybody was objecting no. to the, it's not a renovation, it's a built from scratch right. and back in the yard of a four family house. But apparently the administration wanted to do it. So the people in the administration were the for administra it. Well, the administration has to bring it to the assembly for a vote. Okay, so say you, and now I want you to prove what you just said. Because I've read your bylaws, right. and they're very, very simple. Right. Where in your bylaws does it say that any loan that is incurred by the organization has to be approved by its membership? 
Page 34, 35. No, I want you to find it and point it out to my bailiff and send it up to me. Actually, I want you to read it out loud. Okay. Article 13, page 34. The administration must present its work to the General Assembly when it meets for regular meetings. All the propositions at the General Assembly meetings must first be second by another member and then put to a vote at the same meeting. All propositions that receive 50% of the vote plus one consider, is considered approved. Okay, what is the General Assembly? It consists of all the members. All the members. So you're saying the administration can make members. absolutely no decision unless it's voted on by... Not when it comes to spending money. Stop. That's exactly right. And here's where the problem is. You want me to read into the sentence that you just read, which says, must present its work. For that to mean, must present all financial decisions. I have seen bylaws that say that. Any loan over X, any, any expenditure over Y, they'll actually say it in the bylaws. You have these very general bylaws. The administration must present its work. That can't, okay, well that could mean every single thing the administration does has to be approved by vote of the entire membership. And That's preposterous, you well, can't run that way. Stop and listen, you can't run that way. So what does it mean? You're saying, no, only when it's finances. Well, that's not what it says. And so here's what the problem is. Just listen to me. Yes. I've asked you to show me in the bylaws where it says that all financial decisions over a certain amount or all financial decisions, period, have to be put to a vote. You read to me the following sentence. The administration must present all its work to the assembly. That is the most vague bylaw I have ever heard in my life. I can't look at the guy and say, hey, all that work you did for 10 years, you should have put it to a vote of the membership every single time. And over $360? Seriously? He's suing me for three. He's suing no, this, yeah, right, because you cheated him for 360. For 360. Right, because he feels that you I'm cheated me. him for 360. And actually, you threw him out of the club, too, right? You, yeah. Well, the assembly threw him out of the club <laughs> okay. so because he over, never respected the bylaws. But let me just ask you laws. something, because I just want to, I, I want to, you know, I want to understand your club. I don't want to think it's petty. Over $360, I am in court, and you throw him out. $360 it's, it's dollars not, worth of interest. He was not thrown out on that alone, Your Honor. You threw him he out created, because he didn't show he, up to be excoriated he, by you over the interest. A, Let me ask you a question. Yes, the loan that he made, was the 4% or 5%, was that like usurious somehow? 5.2%. 5.2? was taken. Okay. And he was writing And what his, was the prevailing rate for your loan? Probably is, about 6%. Yeah, so it was under the prevailing rate. Okay, because I just wanted to make sure. I'm not talking to you. Just a I'm moment. I'm sorry. Yes, okay. You say the loan should have never happened, so I'm not going to give back these 360. But that's not what you originally said in order to keep the 360. What you actually said is that it was a math error or what? what math was it? error. We, he actually made checks to himself. $30,000 at 4% is $1,000. $40 for 30 well, was months. Was it 4% or 5.2? Oh, you're saying that he, he was taking 5.2. Now, okay. he said he was Is there a loan document 4%. from the original $30,000 loan? Yeah, 4%. Yeah, my bitch, I 4%. Can I have the loan document? By the way they calculated. I'll figure it out. Just give me the loan document. No question. This one. This one. This one. This one. This one. Now, and of course, your counterclaim against him is because you are suing for the interest that was paid because you feel that you shouldn't have paid $1,202 in interest on a $30,000 loan at all because you felt it was an illegal loan. It is a loan. No, it's not. It's not. I'm the judge and I'm telling you it's not. And I'm going to tell you why and then I'm going to advise you what I think you should do. If you don't want you and your administration or any other future administration to be able to make financial decisions without a group membership vote, which is insanity, okay? But if that's what you want, write that into the bylaws. Amend your bylaws. Bylaws usually read any financial decision greater than X because you want the administration to be able to do repairs without putting it to a membership vote, but you don't want them to make big commitments without putting it to a membership vote. Your bylaws don't say that. All they say is all your work the administration will present its work to the General Assembly. That is not specific enough to call what he did outside the scope of his authorization. All right, court is in recess. All rise. Welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here. So, I think this is interesting. Are ethnic clubs a good thing or a bad thing? A bad thing. How come? 
because it keeps everyone segregated and we're trying to bring everyone together. Okay, well that certainly is the argument. What do you think? I mean, I agree with her. I think it's a bad thing. I think it, everybody should be able to join any club they want to. It should be all uh, open, open. Okay, who disagrees? Who thinks it's a good thing? Who thinks it's a good thing? Huh? Good thing, good thing, good thing, anybody? Okay, why is it bad? Because everybody should be equal and everyone should treat it the same. We're all human, you know? So. I swear to God, I thought, every, I thought the majority of people were going to say it's a good thing. Yeah, 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 real quick. It's a good thing because uh, you got someone to rely on, like your group. You can specifically go, go to that group. Okay. I'm still surprised. Going inside Thanks, the corner. Have a seat, please. Okay. All right. When you folks figured out and, and made the decision that he had overcharged interest, how is it you did it in... I mean, did you go to a bank to figure out how to compound, how to, how to do interest, or you just did the math? Well, on paper, 4% interest is $1,040 that, for 30 com- months. Right, because you weren't compounding. It's, there's compounded de- yeah, interest, but, and there's what you did. He's uh, right. You're uh, wrong. The $360 is owed to him. That's the agreement. If you want to have specific bylaws that prohibit financial decisions over a certain amount from being made without a general membership decision, write it into your bylaws. But the general statement in your bylaws does not prohibit what he did. The guy was president for 10 years. I don't care if it was good, bad, or indifferent. But I am in shock that your not. organization would be so petty as to end up in court with a prior president over $360. You will pay him the $360 and on your counterclaim zero for the same reason. We'll good s- luck, we'll folks. We'll send him a check. All right. $360, really, you know? It seems like a, a rather small amount to wind up in court over. So what else is going on? Oh, what's there's between, a lot going on. Well, was, we only have he, a couple of moments. He did but, right the wait. last two years, but he was a bully the last eight years. He threw people out of the club for no reason at all, without justification. You so know, this is he personal? He did it all by himself. No, no, this is, this is the dictator. assembly threw him out. The man is a dictator. Yes. Dictator. Okay, are you going to make your bylaws a little more specific? Well, we're going to rewrite, gonna rewrite it. Yes. The bylaws. yes. Okay, get thank, started. Thank you very much. All right, come on in here. <laughs> what was that that you did? You're staying right next to him over here. What, what was it that you did at the end of the case? Yeah. The revenge. The, the, that's revenge. 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 I don't want to go into it now. D- go but into the it. judge go did a good job. <laughs> that's the way it should be. When you're honest, you don't have to be... Afraid of nobody. Yeah, but they say you were a dictator and you no. changed the bylaws and well, all Mussolini, this stuff. Well, Mussolini, Italy, well, they died. Maybe I'm the new one. <laughs> That's what you need. The problem is a lot, lot of problems. All right. problem. Harvey? Okay, FYI, this whole thing about the maximum interest you can charge varies from state to state. Generally, uh, a lot of states say over, over 10%, it's considered usury, which is illegal. 